I always come to something like the Global Leadership uh, Summit as a sort of an opportunity to grow personally. You meet different people, you get different ideas from different speakers and different people in the audience, you get the chance to network with different people and think more about the world from different perspectives. And I think e every CEO gets their time used all the time. The world is changing incredibly fast. And if you don't occasionally take time to listen to different people's views about that change and what the implications are of it, it's very easy to get left behind. Logic is a European-focused business, so you might say, why do I come to an event on emerging markets? Well, I come for two reasons, really. Firstly, you know, Europe's an interesting place. It has a declining population and a very fast aging population. In order to do all the things we need to do to drive productivity and economic growth in Europe, we're going to have to use global labor. You know, our business in, in IT services, business and technology service company, is all about the, the sort of outsourcing, offshoring, all those words. So we have... 4,000 people in India, six or 700 in, in Brazil who are working on things. But the second issue for me, of course, is you know, I, I, even a company like ours with mainly focus on Europe, I'm interested to think about which are the emerging markets which I believe have the strongest prospects for us. And for, for me, it is Brazil and India rather than China and Russia, uh, given the state of liberalization of those markets and the rule of law and the ability to set up and run businesses successfully there. You know, one of the things that I would say when people talk to me about there suddenly being a great recession is, you know, in emerging markets, it's been, a, in one level, it's a recession forever. People have got so little money. You know, 75% of the population doesn't, of the world doesn't notice a recession because, you know, they've got so little in the first place, it doesn't affect them. And what, of course, that is doing is it's completely remaking industries as people realize that in Africa, in India, in China, there are massive markets if you can get the price point right, if you can get the simplicity right, if you can get the robustness right. You can bring all these people into the economy. But, of course, as you do all that design work and all that innovation to do that, it has incredible implications back uh, into the West. And so, you know, cars are going to be at a completely different price point in five or ten years' time as what's been going on in India and China in design terms starts to, to change what it costs to make a car.